What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about the Dynamics 365 2020 Wave 1 preview coming in April. We're going to take a look at a new feature that is coming, which is called Search This View. This feature allows you to um, look at a list of records, and instead of searching all records, uh, or all, all active records, it'll allow you to search just the view that you're looking at, and it'll also take into account any filters and things that you've got. So let's take a look at it today. I'm in Dynamics 365 customer engagement at the moment, and I want to show you the default behavior. So I'm on uh, my list of accounts and I'm in a view called My Active Accounts. And here I've got four accounts, the Adatum Corporation, Default Account, SS Corp and Test1. And then I have this search box up here called Quick Find. Now, whenever I deliver training to people um, and I teach them about this box, I have to always teach them that this box, what this does, is this will search through the system for all active records that fit into this criteria. This doesn't um, doesn't take into account the view that you're looking at, it doesn't take into account any filters, and it'll only search things that are from this entity type, nothing else. If you want to search other things, you can use the global search at the top. So what does this do? So in here, if I type in the words ADA and press enter, it's going to go off and it's going to find all records that begin with the letters ADA. And as you can see, I've actually got Adams Corp and a Datums Corporation. So we were on a page called My Active, uh, My Active Accounts, but the, re the return results are actually ignoring that view and it's looking for anything that is active in the system and that's the, and that's where this is. So, and that's what's returned here. So what this has done is this has just done the default functionality in Dynamics and returned all active accounts where it matches this search criteria. So if I cancel this, it'll go back to my active accounts and we can see that um, Adam Strop does not appear in this list. Now to turn this on, we have to go to the old settings area. So I go up to the cog in the top right, settings, we are going to go to advanced settings. So now I'll load the old uh, user interface. Uh, we can choose settings and we can go to administration and then system settings. From here, I can scroll down until we get to the search setup. So at the moment, um, this, there's this um, feature here that says use quick find view of an entity for searching on grids and subgrids. We now change that to no. So what that's saying is it's going to use the default quick find view and quick find view columns to do that searching. Um, and that's the, the sort of default behavior we have here. So instead of having that, we're gonna turn that off and say, no, I don't want that functionality anymore. So it's like, okay, it's a bit of a, a weird setting. Um, maybe, maybe Microsoft will change it, um, but it's a bit unusually worded to say that that's what we wanna do. But hey ho, click OK. We'll go back to our active account. So we can see this says quick find at the moment. If we refresh the page, we can now see it says search this view. So when we say search this view, what it's going to do is it's not going to take into account all active records in the account, it's only going to take into account this view we're looking at. So if I type in the exact same search criteria we had before, ADA, it's only returning a datum corporation, not everything. And as you can see, it's not changed the view to search results, it's kept it at my active accounts. So this takes that into account. So if I go to uh, all accounts, we can see that Adams Corp is in there. And if I search this view and type in that exact same search criteria, we can see that it brings back both of them because this, because this other account is available in this view. So this will really help users narrow down what they're searching for in the system because it'll help them go to a view which is already a subset of data that they have with the search criteria and then search and refine that even more. What's more is this actually takes into account things like uh, column filtering. So a lot of times people are sourcing by different columns and sometimes they're filtering by different columns. So one of the things you could do is you could say um, if main phone number 
um, where I hit filter by, and then where I say if uh, main phone number contains data, apply, we don't apply that filter. And you see that's not rid of two accounts, including that uh, Adam's crop one. And again, if I type ADA into here, it no longer brings back Adam's crop because we've already filtered that out of the list of results that we've got. That is super powerful because that gives users a lot better, like, like a much better way to search and to filter data in your dynamic system. That is a game changer for me and I think for a lot of customers too. So yeah, this is coming in April, which is only a few weeks away now. I'm recording this in mid-March. So we are waiting and seeing uh, for when this comes out, but this is a super cool feature. But as always, what do you guys think? Is this something you've been crying out for for years? Is it something that you never really thought about until now because you used uh, different ways to get around it? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, you know, Are you going to turn this on day one or are you going to stick with the old interface, the old sort of like function? functionality let me know um, if you did like this video please like and please share it with your friends if you've not already please subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you next time